I'm testing the full build process of the new Regal Theta, Theta Client SDK and library to build mobile apps. I'm going to go through the build with Android, including installing Android Studio and Java. So basically every software that you need to run this thing, I'm going to try and cover. First, I'm going to clone down the code from the Rico API GitHub Theta Client repository. I'm going to go to the Android Studio site. I'm going to download Android Studio Electric EO. Checking the environmental variables. First, checking to see if Android Home is set or not. It's empty. I'll then check and see if I have the Android SDK installed on my system. So on Linux, it's under the, uh, so your home directory, Android, and then SDK. And I have it installed here. It's just that I don't have the environmental, environmental variable set. So the build will likely fail unless I adjust the local.properties file of the client. I'm going to set the Android Home environmental variable in etc. environment. On Windows, you know, you use the environmental variable edit feature. You can also put in in the dot bash rc or dot profile. I'll just edit this file and I'll drop in the Android underscore home variable and hopefully it'll, it'll get set at time of boot. I'm going to check my Java version. I don't have it installed. So I'm going to install the default JRE on Ubuntu. I think this should be fine. So let's do the install of the default JRE. I'm going to move the Android Studio directory into slash opt. And then I'll run Studio, the script which will execute the Android Studio on Linux and it will open up the Electric Eel version of Android Studio. I'm going to install a couple of the other SDKs for the different Android version and the Android command line toolchain. So let's press OK and it will download it and it will install it. I'll also update the Java home environmental variable in etc. environment. I'll run source on the etc. environment file hopefully to run it. Check to see that the environmental variables are set for Java Home and Android Home. It looks like it's good to go. So let's try to run the script. I'm first going to try to run the or build a library with Gradle W published to Maven Local. And let's see if the library itself builds. Not sure why, but the library build did fail on my test here. I'll just keep it in. Uh, it says it can't find the Android home. But I'm just going to drop it into local.properties in the root directory of the project theta-client. And we'll see whether this makes a difference. So I'll do sdk.dir equals, and then it's the location of the, the, SD, the Android SDK. And there's no quotes around the string for the location of the path of the SDK. Let's try running it again. Now with that one line addition to local.properties, the build of the library succeeded with no problems. 
I'm going to use Android Studio to open up the demo project, the Android demo project in the demos folder of the theta-client uh, library. Then I'll use Android Studio to build the APK. And let's see whether the build, so this would, this is the mobile app or the, the skeleton of the mobile app that we'll be using going forward. So let's see whether it works. Okay, the build of the mobile app succeeded. And we now have the APK available for installation. I'll just install it using ADB install. We could have combined the step of build and install into one step, but just broke it out here. ADB install and then it's the name of the file. Only have one device, an Android device attached to it right now. So it's going to install into the default device, which is a physical Pixel 2. So testing the new build on a Google Pixel 2. Live preview works great. Take picture works. And it's very easy to add additional buttons onto this thanks to the library. But we're just testing the base functionality. Looks fantastic. Automatically gets the image from the camera to the mobile device. And the navigation works. Great job. Let's check out the SDK.